And you also need a heat protectant spray. This one is called Royal Blowout. It's a heat styling spray. Chloe likes it. <laughs> hey guys, okay, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. Welcome back. Welcome back to 2019. I have not done a video in forever. Um, this last year I really worked on my podcast, which we did publish a few of the videos here on the YouTube channel. I would say that's a little more feisty side or business side, or it's also like my married side. <laughs> but honestly, I started my business just like sharing products and information and just kind of beauty hacks with you guys. So I was kind of like, all right, am I getting too old to be on YouTube? Because it's all like 20 year olds and I'm no longer 20. <laughs> um, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get back on and just share more hairstyles. And obviously I own a salon in Laguna Beach, California. It's called DKW Styling. And we get tons of questions even from our clients. So I know some of the clients will enjoy these videos. So today, um, actually this month, I really wanted to kind of like talk about different curl patterns and ways to curl your hair because everybody asks us either on our Instagram, you can visit our Instagram, it's natural beaded rose extensions. Um, everyone always asks us, what kind of curling iron are you guys using to get your waves? So honestly, I would say the two sizes that we use are a one inch and a one and a quarter. This is the Bioionic one and a quarter. And I like their, ooh, that's hot, that's gonna be turned down. I like their irons because it has an extra long barrel, which is nice for pretty much long hair, which we specialize in natural beauty rose. So this is my favorite if you're looking for a long barrel. Now this guy is, I like this one and it is a one inch, it's a babbless. I actually, I love how the babbless run through your hair. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. People say babyless, I'm pretty sure it's babbless, but don't quote me on that. So this is the one inch and I'm actually gonna create a one inch curl with you guys, but I'm gonna create the one inch rope curl. So um, there's, it's a totally different look, it's a flatter curl, there's so many different curl patterns. And a lot of times when people will be using the one inch, they're like, how come mine looks like Shirley Temple or how come my curls are too tight? And it's how you wrap the hair around the iron. So if you want a flat beachier wave, you have to pull it out as you go and also avoid putting any curl in your ends. Gosh, all my irons are so hot. So I'm gonna turn both these down and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I have already washed my hair and blown it out. I did round brush my hair. If you wear hair extensions, it is important to rough dry them 95% and then go through with your round brush and smooth it the last 5%. This will prevent tangling, make an overall better finish, shinier, and you'll just have a better blowout. So do, I always tell my clients, even if you don't round brush every hair on your head, go through and smooth it a little bit so that it doesn't tangle as much. Um, the only product I put in my hair when it's wet is this Orbe Run Through. If you wear extensions, this is kind of a must have product. And it is a detangling spray, but it is amazing. And of course the Orbe um, line smells very, very good. Um, so that's the only prep spray that I put in my hair. If you have fine hair, maybe a couple sprays in top, and then you can spray one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can like, that's probably plenty. But on the top, it's like one or two sprays. And remember, if you have fine hair, don't spray here. Spray out here. Okay, so that's the only prep spray I use. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started curling my hair. Let's see, do I put anything else in my hair? Sometimes I'll put some other stuff through. Um, this is actually called Royal Blowout. If you're that girl that's recurling your hair all the time, that's causing more damage than actually getting your hair colored or lightened or extensions or anything else. So if you're putting heat tools on your hair every single day, you need to turn down that temperature and you also need a heat protectant spray. This one is called Royal Blowout. It's a heat styling spray. Chloe likes it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I got my little clippy here and I'm gonna clip my real hair out of the way. There is an art to blending shorter layers. So if you have hair similar to mine, and there is kind of an art to just getting everything to blend. So when you're doing your rope curls, you wanna take smaller sections and a smaller iron. So I'm gonna wrap it, and then the trick to that rope iron, or that rope curl, is as it heats up, untwist that. And still running it through and direct it down. 
Now just let that sit and cool. When you're totally done curling your whole head, you're gonna rake it apart or comb it through. Okay, so you notice when I curl, I start at the base. And really the only trick to this is when you wind it in, now you're gonna start to unwind it. But leave it clamped in and then curl, start to curl those ends as you go down. Make sure you're directing this down. And then for that kind of flatter end, go ahead and pull it through that last minute and that'll kind of give you that straighter, piecier end. Look how long my real hair is getting, you guys. I've been so nice to it. <laughs> Everyone wants to know, like my bangs suck. In fact, I actually had a bunch of breakage happen in the spring. I um, decided to cut bangs and then I was like, oh my God. So I always tell people, I'm like, if you think that you want to cut bangs, don't. Just go shopping online and you'll be fine. Do not cut bangs. Ruby, you wanna say hi? <laughs> this is my daughter, Ruby. Say hi. If you go back to my original YouTube days, you can actually see her as a baby crawling in the background. And it turns out she still likes to come in and be a part of the video. Yes. Oh my God, and she has unicorn nails. <laughs> those are cute, who did those? I sticked them on. Good job, girlfriend. The stick one. I love it. Yeah. Yep, oh no, that's the camera. Wrong. Yeah, cute. Ruby's gonna start her own YouTube channel one day, huh? Summertime. Hey, will you shut my bathroom door? Summertime. Summertime? Okay, stay tuned for RubyTube coming out. Um, RubyTube, it's not called that. <laughs> it's not called RubyTube? Okay, anyways, back to the video. That was my cute daughter. Um, yeah, my real hair is getting pretty long. Don't cut bangs. It's an emotional decision and you'll pay for it for the next six months. Okay, so I'm just putting that out there right now. Um, but my hair, my natural hair is super healthy. I've been trying to avoid too much lightener on it. And I've honestly, this is really close to my natural color. And then I add a few balayage pieces around my face. So anyways, let's keep going. I'm gonna go in here. I'm doing this, by the way, without a mirror. <laughs> so let's just really test my skills. So I've got this wrapped in there. And again, slowly unwrapping it. And pulling that out. The reason we call this a rope curl is it just resembles, it just has a skinnier, flatter curl. And then when you break it up, it looks really beachy, super cute. Let me show you, uh, I'm gonna show you one curl where if you don't pull it down, the difference how it looks. You'll see like, you're like, oh, it, it looks just like a big barrel curl and you don't necessarily want that. Or I hate when it looks like a barrel curl and end is just like totally flat and straight. You're like, it's like you took a flat iron to the ends. So don't do that. Like if I just did this, see how barely that is? And that's, if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. But if I'm going for a more bouncy curled with a little bit more of a barrel look, I'll use this because it's a little bit looser and bouncier and I'll still have like a soft finish on my ends so I don't have those bored straight ends because it just doesn't flow. If you follow us on Instagram, you will recognize Chloe, who's wandering in the background. She is our salon mascot. She's not a puppy. She was my first baby. I've had her, she's, I think she's 15 next month. Everybody make sure they wish Chloe a happy birthday. And no, I did not name her after Chloe, my favorite handbag. Um, <laughs> but she is a sweetheart, and I swear, as she gets older, her face looks more like a puppy. So. People always think she's a puppy, but she is an old lady. She's just aging very gracefully, like all of us are hoping to do. So, so see how I just let the curl out? And I don't want my end too straight, so I'm gonna wrap that one more time as I direct it down and pull it completely out. <clears throat> And you'll notice a lot of times I'll run my iron through a couple times. This will kind of help prevent your hair extensions from tangling as well, because putting the heat on there and getting that cuticle all going in the same direction, it just, because my hair never tangles, and when I have somebody come in um, that's experienced extensions and they say they're tangly, I'm always problem solving and finding out what exactly they're doing as far as styling and products. And also, if you put too much product in your extensions, it can weigh them down, it feels gunky, and that can also cause buildup and tangling as well. I 
I just realized I didn't even use my heat protectant spray, so I'm gonna show you guys how I would do that on a few curls. I don't use it all the time, but if I'm gonna put, like, recurl my hair tomorrow, I'll do a light mist. Again, this is a very wet spray, so you don't need to spray clear up here. You wanna spray it a little bit further away. I can't see what I'm doing because I don't have a mirror, so I'm not even sure if that hit my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna get a mirror and then I'll finish up. Okay, so these are the waves. Look how cute they are. Can you see how it's just like, it's a flatter, beachier wave. So if you're like, how do people get those curls? I'm trying a one inch and my hair looks like a bunch of ringlets. And then see how the ends, it doesn't just go like curly and then straight. See how it's gradually, and that's from dragging it down and then running the iron through that last minute. Um, when I blended my short layers, I just curled them the exact same way. The only pieces that I didn't curl with the one inch iron is my bangs. Again, if you have shorter bangs or you're growing them out, try the one inch iron. And I just put a little bit of like a soft bend through those away from my face um, to kind of get it to go away from my face. If you have, okay, so I have this little broken piece under here. Again, this was from the spring and somehow it fried off, probably too much heat. Now I'm just trying to avoid it. So if you have any broken pieces, don't put any heat on those. Literally, I pick this whole section up and I curl it like this, leave that piece out, and then just kind of tuck that little guy under. So that's a good trick if you're growing out bangs or if you have any broken pieces, don't put heat on them and just kind of tuck them under. Um, <clears throat> I usually don't put a ton of product on my hair on the first day, just cause I like to wash my hair about every three days. But if you want like um, a beachy hold, the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray is actually my favorite Orbe product. Um, it reminds me of, it's a little bit of like a dry, dry texture. It's a little bit of a dry shampoo feel, but it has more hold and it's not as gritty as a dry shampoo. So it's something that you can actually spray on your ends. And I kind of spray at the bottom and just give it a little extra. Like this is if you want like a really kind of beachy, tousled look. I mean, you can see how cute that is and it just, sort of roughs it up and gives it that fuzzy look. Sometimes when we take photos, we like the top to be fuzzy and we'll kind of mess that up a little bit and spray it just so, I don't know, I like hair that looks like you just kind of rolled out of bed and you're just like hot, hot and ready to go, I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, um, the dry texturizing spray by Orbe is my fave. And then if I do any hairspray at all, I go with a super fine hairspray by Orbe. Again, super lightweight. Usually I won't do a ton of hairspray. Um, I don't like my hair to feel too tacky or too heavy or too, too much hold. So I will usually just spray a tiny bit of this in the bangs. And again, don't spray like here, <laughs> up here. You always wanna spray away and just kind of mist it in. And there you go. Whew. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Beachy waves? Um, okay, so if you want more information about me, um, you can click the link below this video that will take you directly to my blog where I'll list all the products that I used in this video and then I'll also link the products on underneath the video as well. But if you love fashion, if you love podcasts, if you love hair, um, you can subscribe and tune into my videos. I'm going to try and get at least two a month out for you guys. I used to do it once a week, but um, I started a podcast and I have two kids and I'm actually expecting my third kid. <laughs> so um, I just got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, you can also follow our Natural Beauty Rose extension page on Instagram, or you can go to, I used to be DKW Styling on my Instagram, but I just changed it to Danielle K. White. So if you're like, she disappeared, she's not on YouTube, she's not on Instagram, I am. It's just under Danielle K. White. So hope you guys enjoyed all this product information and have fun recreating some of these beach waves. I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe. So you've seen a little bit of the process. Now come experience the process. All you need to do is click the link below. That's gonna take you directly to my blog where you can go to my contact page and reach out to me. Whether you're a curious student or you're just another girl that loves hair, either way, don't be shy. Make sure to click on the link below.